Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are just south of Kansas City, Missouri, the site of a new set of distribution lines that have been strung. We are going to watch today the process of distribution line tie-ins using what's called an arm buddy. Our participating utility is Kansas City Power and Light, and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now what you see here is two apprentices climbing this distribution pole near Gardner, Kansas, and they're going to be using an arm buddy to move these new distribution lines from dollies onto insulators on the pole. Here you see the second of the apprentices climbing up to the top of the pole. And so let's go up on the pole using a GoPro camera and watch this apprentice move that neutral on top of the pole here from its existing dolly onto an insulator on top of the pole. You'll see here as he positions that newly strung neutral into its insulator there. And then he's going to use a preformed tie to tie in both sides of this neutral into that insulator. This is a process that will be repeated on each of the three phases on the cross arm in just a bit. But while he is up here, he will also form and connect the neutral using a line clamp. That is the neutral that runs down the pole into the ground. And uh, he's going to tighten that in. And then back on the ground here, we see our lead man, Jeff, sending up this arm buddy we've been talking about. It's a so-called arm buddy because it actually helps on the cross arm, gives leverage to move these lines. You see it coming up here from the viewpoint of the GoPro camera. And next, they will set that arm buddy in place on the cross arm next to this dolly with the distribution line in it. And you're going to see that hook there that goes underneath the line. We can now open up the dolly for this line and then you're going to see the arm buddy become the buddy of the arms of our line crew as it helps them with the strain at odd angles to move this line with a lot of uh, right, pounds right of pressure there. on it onto its insulator and here is that same process just seen from the other gopro camera setting it into its insulator seat and then also putting on these rubber grommets and then you'll see again how the arm buddy is not only a buddy on the cross arm, but helps the arms right. of our line crew. This would be a very hard line to move with just their arm strength at that angle. Next, our guys will remove the dolly that the line was formerly on. And uh, since they are not in a bucket truck, they're going to have to send it down using a hook and rope there that's attached to this arm buddy. And now they will use one of these preformed ties that we saw up above to tie in this distribution line into its insulator and cross arm. And now we can move the arm buddy from this side of the cross arm to the other side around the pole here. As you see now we have two phases on dollies as we position the arm buddy next to the outside phase here. But we will show you first the movement of this middle or B phase. In this case he doesn't need the arm buddy because they're not leaning out far to the end of the cross arm where they need leverage to deal with the strain of moving the conductor. They tie in this middle phase here. And then we go back to the outer phase where you will put that grommet on while the conductor is still in the dolly, but then use the arm buddy to move this. This would be a very difficult move without the arm buddy helping that conductor over into the insulator. And then once again, use these preformed ties to tie in the line to its insulator and cross arm. Notice the wind uh, going across the cornfield there. It gets quite breezy up on these holes. And then another of the physical challenges to this work, see how far out they have to reach to do these type of tie-ins. And then the final tasks will be, of course, taking the arm buddy off of this cross arm, sending that down again using the hook and rope for safety purposes. And then our climbers will climb down the pole. Sure. They will go one by one for safety reasons. And with that, you have now seen our TND How video on using an arm buddy for distribution line tie-ins. You would use this method in any case where you could not bring in a bucket truck. 
Once again, our participating utility was Kansas City Power and Light. This video was sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND Howe Videos. Thank you so much for watching.